Hi there, I'm Ben, and welcome to part one of my full platinum walkthrough for The Surge. The first thing I want to say about this game is that if you're watching this video and you're still on the fence about starting it, absolutely go for it. It's probably my favourite Souls like now, and I've heard the sequel is even better, which I will be covering soon. Right, on with the guide. If you haven't seen one of my guides before, they are full platinum walkthroughs, meaning I walk you through the entire process of getting the platinum. Makes sense. I show absolutely everything so you can follow along at all times. The only thing that I do cut out are cutscenes and extended dialogue. Apart from that, I'll be here every step of the way guiding you through the game with full commentary. I've already mentioned it, but the surge is a souls like, so dying is part of the process. But it really doesn't feel as punishing in this game as it may do in some of the others in the same genre. So while this game may be quite brutal to start with, you will get used to it. It took me a moment too. The Platinum for this game can be earned in just over one playthrough. The reason we're going to have to go into New Game Plus is for a conflicting side mission which has two trophies. Bit of a shame really, if it wasn't for those trophies we'd only need to go into New Game Plus for about 10 minutes. Uh, but no, we'll need to go in for about a third of the game. But I'll be there for that as well, walking you through that. I will just mention that we'll be using backup saves for this guide to avoid having to do both endings separately and just for safety reasons as there are some highly missable trophies and situations. For that reason, I would recommend that you have PS Plus or a USB drive. I am playing on the PS5 and you will get a warning, this is one of the games on the list that doesn't run as well as it should on the PS5, it runs better on the PS4 apparently, but if you just change some of the options in the graphics, uh, the video settings, if you just change the, uh, the chromatic aberration and motion blur, things like that, you shouldn't have any problems. Those are the only things, if you're wondering about the warnings that shows up, that's the only thing you need to worry about. Right, there are 10 missable trophies in this game, and most of them are tied to side quest and character interactions. For that reason, it is important to take notice of what I'm doing at all times. I will have my usual next item slash trophy indicator in the top corner of the screen, along with timestamps in the description to make sure that you don't miss anything. I'll also be using that for the steps towards the missable trophies to make sure that you have plenty of notice before we do certain parts of each trophy. For instance, there are trophies that start in the second area of the game and finish right near the end of the game, so they're stretched out unfortunately. Speaking of areas, that's how I'll be breaking up these videos. The game isn't linear, so we can go back to previous areas, but it's just an easier way to keep track of where we're up to. Right, I think that'll do for setup. I'll be here the whole time, so I'll explain everything else as we go. This first part is a bit slower to start with, so I'll give you a quick rundown on the missile, missable trophies here. Oh, and one last thing, I will be covering the DLC as well. I'll be doing that after the Platinum in New Game Plus. So in this first part, before you actually gain control, there's going to be this cutscene. It's a bit like Half-Life where you go in on the train here. Uh, yeah, this first part, you just got to go through the, the station and get to the point where you're choosing which armor you want. I will be going for light armor, that's just my thing. Uh, I prefer light and fast as opposed to the big heavy armor with the heavy weapons. That was a surprise, wasn't it? Uh, right, so yeah, just roll through there. I'm just going to go through the missables quickly here. So we've got Overconfident, that's for defeating a boss while carrying 20,000 scrap. That is uh, basically souls in the game, so we'll do that on the probably the second boss. We'll save up uh, a lot of souls and do that and then, get that out of the way. There's who's in charge here which is near the end of the game we just need to that's a situational one we'll do that right near the end sunglasses at night this is for finding some sunglasses in the game this is one of the conflicting ones this goes along with uh, repeat customer which is giving joe th scrap three times it'll all make sense but <laughs> if you give her scrap then you can't get the glasses if you give her if you go and get the glasses you can't finish the scrap thing so that's why we need to do uh, two different playthroughs for that uh, we need to help someone with medicine, so that's a side mission. That one can glitch, uh, but don't worry, we can just run through it in New Game Plus. So these are the two armor sets. I'm going to go for Lynx. It's, it's lighter, quicker. Uh, you can go for the other one if you want. The only thing that's tied to actual weapons and um, armor is a couple of trophies for fully upgrading weapons, weapons or armor. So once you find one that you like, stick with it and upgrade that fully. Uh, we'll be doing that in this first playthrough obviously uh, so once you find it obviously mess around play with whatever you like you need to own fully own uh, an operator set a goliath set a sentinel set we'll do that because that's just going to happen along the way uh, but yeah just find a set or a, a build that you like apart from that it does not matter um, so yeah once you've got that you've got your set 
uh, you're going to be here at the start, and you'll just kind of learn the, the the controls, really. I've changed the controls, so my dodge is circle. You'll get your first trophy there as well. That's a story one. Uh, I am getting DLC stuff here. You can see at the start, that's because I have the DLC installed. I couldn't not install it because you need the update. Yeah, it just installs it automatically. So I'm going to ignore all that stuff. But if you're wondering there, you can just see it's all starting. I do get a DLC weapon later as well. I won't be using it. So get used to the, the weapons. There's charged R2, which I don't actually use in this game. Charge R1, R1, R2. Just the usual stuff, really. And then dodging circle for me, because I changed it. Um, if you play Souls, game, Souls games as well, then uh, I would change it as well, because you'll just get used to... Uh, or you will be used to circle as dodge and uh, X's interact. Uh, so yeah, just this first part, just run through, do these easy um, drones, get used to them. You can block in this game using L1. I don't block. Uh, I prefer to dodge. Uh, I think I maybe blocked at the start here when I first did the, the practice run through. But apart from that, I didn't block at all. Because <laughs> I just... yeah. Do I do it here? Yeah, there. We're, that we go. It, some, it doesn't come through at all. But it obviously eats into your stamina. I'd rather just dodge around them and attack them, to be honest. It's it's better that way. Uh, this first thing we're getting here is an implant. In the top corner, I'm going to put implants. They are going to be there. If I find an implant, I will put it there. Uh, unless it's a random drop, um, I will be putting them there. These are sort of things that you can add to your suit later on uh, to help you with certain things. Um, because you can use more than one of the same then uh, I will be putting every single one that I find so you can kind of do the same build if you like. Uh, going back to the missable stuff, um, or before that, you go interact with this thing and speak to the woman here, exhaust her dialogue, and then we'll continue on. It opens up things, basically. Uh, yeah, so we need to help. Uh, we've got duty bound. We need to help uh, a woman throughout the game. That's throughout the, the whole game, pretty much. We've got four interactions with her. Ghost in the Machine, that starts very early on. Uh, well, fairly early on, and then ends right at the end of the game. That's another side mission that we could could miss. There are two missable audio logs. Um, there are, I think there's four trophies for audio logs. Just two of the audio logs are missable, and that's for one of the trophies. Apart from that, they're not. You're fine. Uh, there's the second boss, spoiler alert. <laughs> I mean, it's a robot. All the bosses are pretty much robots, so uh, that's a shortcut lift later on. Here's another pick. I don't use the aggression amplifier, to be honest. Uh, the best ones to youth, use are health and uh, stamina ones. Um, yeah, going back to missables, there's uh, Homo Machinalist, something like that, I think it's called. Uh, we need to kill someone after they've transformed later on. That's later on as well. Um, and then the reason we definitely need to go into New Game Plus as well is for defeating a boss with his own weapon. We can't do that until New Game Plus because you get the weapon after you kill a boss, so we don't have any yet. And then I'm putting, I put, I said 10 earlier on, and then I've changed it to 11, because I, th I reckon Infidel is missable as well for defeating the Vending Machine Cult. They are, they do disappear, so that potentially is going to be uh, missable as well. But there is a chance that you'll just get that naturally, so I'll put that down as missable as well. Right, so these are our first enemies. As you can see, this is one of the audio logs you don't need to worry about. That's why it's not in the top corner. You do collect quite a few audio logs that just don't matter for trophies. So I'm not going to be putting those in the top corner. Only ones that count towards uh, trophies. So there's only one in this area, audio log wise. So yeah, get used to movement. So when you lock on, you lock onto a specific part of the enemy. I always go for the head. If I'm going for a kill, I'll go for the head or a blue part. So orange or yellow, yellow yellowy orange, whatever it is. That means armoured. So the head is armoured, uh, the blue is kind of squishy, <laughs> that's the bit you can hit and do damage. Uh, there is another bar going on, you can't see any bar on the enemies yet, I'm going to get an, an upgrade shortly. Uh, that's some scrap there, that is sort of solid scrap, um, it doesn't disappear if you die, It will. It, you can use it at any point. Um, we'll be doing that later for the trophy that, with regards to having 20,000 scrap, so don't use any of the kind of solid scrap that's in your inventory if that makes sense. We'll use that all later on to get one of the trophies out of the way. So we've got power core and we've got run back to the med bay and this is gonna this is the med bay is this is we find several of these. This is basically your bonfire if you want to put it like that. Your safe place. So it's gonna go through core level here. So we've got core level. The the, the wheel on the left is how many uh, scrap I've got. The the wheel on the right is how much the next increase in core power is going to cost. 
So you can do X and it will add it and you'll you'll get up to the next. And your health will go up, your stamina will go up, uh, and that's pretty much it. And it allows you to add certain implants, more implants later on and things like that. So we're not going to do any upgrades yet. Uh, if you go to implants, these are the implants. You sh you've just picked up a few more, so we'll add. We can add four at the moment. Uh, so I'm going to add all four that we have. And that's going to increase your core power consumption. You see that blue wheel in the middle there below? Uh, it's at 3 out of 10. As you add them, each one has a power usage. You can see this one's 2, so it's going to go up to 6. Uh, and then we have we can actually equip all of them. Um, we don't have all of the armor yet. This is just kind of the bracket underneath the rig that we have on at the moment. We don't have any armor. So once you put that in there, you're going to get a token here for the first two parts of the armor that you chose. So for me, it was Lynx, the quick armor. Uh, if you chose the other armor, I can't remember what it's called now, the heavier rhino, I think it was. Uh, you'll get that trophy as well, that's um, story related. So you can see how I'm getting a lynx arm and a leg, and this is the DLC weapon, which I'm not going to use. If you have the DLC already, uh, feel free to use it, it's better than the, uh, the pipe or the piston. So I'm just going to equip the two that we got. So we've got an arm and we've got a leg, and that also uses power consumption on the core. So I'm at 10 out of 10 now. Uh, you can't put any of the others. You need to craft two legs, two arms, a body, and a head for each armor set. That's how it works. So uh, you just get one of each. So it's a bit lopsided at the moment. Don't worry, we'll do all that later. Uh, so with regards to upgrading and crafting, you go to this machine here. Um, as you kill an enemy, I'm going to go through that later, you can get more schematics. So we just have arm and uh, leg at the moment. Schematics-wise, and this is what you own and you can upgrade. So there's different upgrade materials. It, it looks quite confusing to start with, but it's actually not. You have tungsten, which is for weapons. You have um, force regulators, which are for arms. Rig armatures, which are for chest. Uh, cortical, cortical, I think they're called. Processors, which are for head. And then uh, pneumatic helix, which are for legs. But there's different versions of those. And depending on which enemies you're defeating, you're going to get different things. So I want this guy's weapon. So I'm locking onto his right arm, the left-hand side of him, as we look at him. Uh, and going to cut that off. So as you hit him, the blue meter is going to fill up. So you can see that I've got his weapon. We need this for a trophy, actually. There's plenty of those using that weapon in this area. And this is the weapon I'm going to use early on as well. So I'm going to lock onto him. You can see the blue bar under the stamina is building up. When you get his health to sort of, it's a, just under a quarter, I would say, uh, you get that next hit, you're going to get an X prompt, and that means you can chop. If you have enough blue power from building up, from hitting them, you can uh, chop the parts of their bodies off. So I wanted his weapon, so I chopped his arm off that was holding the weapon. And if you want their chest, which we do need to for um, the schematic, this guy's got the Lynx gear on. Uh, so I'm going for the, I think I'm going for the head here. So I'm going for the head. I'll go for the chop off. Do we go for the head? Was that the head? Was that the arm? We're going for the arm again. No, we're going for the arm. Sorry. <laughs> we're going for the arm uh, to get more tungsten. So if you want more tungsten to upgrade your weapon, you go for the weapon. Uh, if you go for the head, you'll. if it's the first time you're getting that armor, you'll get the schematic. After that, you'll get more. You'll get a scrap version of that head. And when you go back to the upgrade machine you'll get the upgrade material you need to upgrade the head. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> it does sound uh, quite confusing, but it's actually not. So you can see here I'm locked onto the head. I'm going for him. I'm going to chop his head off. I did put these animations on low, but there, go for the chop. And then you pick that up, and that's going to be the headgear. This is the first time I'm picking this up, so I'm going to get the schematic. Next time I pick up a Lynx headgear, I'll just get a wrecked one. And when I go back, it'll get turned into... Cortical processors, I think they're called. Um, and that means I can upgrade the one head that I need. Well, I actually need them to build it first. This, I'm going for chest here. Chest is always the hardest one to go for because um, it, it they take a lot more damage to do. If, by the way, if you do die, you'll get a trophy. So congratulations on that. Uh, and you will need to come back and get your scrap, basically like souls you need to come back and get it before you die again that's kind of how these games work obviously uh, you will have a timer in this game as well it's quite generous and the timer will go up if you kill enemies as well uh, and there's a directional kind of directional it there's a meters so if you're getting close obviously the meters go down and you know you get the idea uh, as you get closer or further away but that's all you lose that's all you lose is scrap to be honest and later on you'll be getting loads of scrap so 
Early on, it might seem quite crushing, but it's not too bad. Uh, I'm going for the head again because I want some more of the processors so I can build, because I need processors for the head to build a uh, headgear. I need the chest gear. So I'm just taking the time to build up the uh, gear that I want. So I'm going to do that now. Uh, to run and jump, it's a bit weird. Jumping is not something you really do in this game. So you sprint, use, holding down circle, and press L3 to jump. It's a bit clunky, to be honest. But jump up there. There's going to be some upgrades. It's tungsten there. Uh, and as you defeat more difficult enemies, so uh, you obviously they've got different armor and weapons later on, you get higher grades of the upgrade material. So mark two versions of tungsten, or mark two versions of the force regulators, which are for the arms, things like that. So you're kind of restricted, and it obviously builds up as you go. And um, yeah, ultimately, we need the things that are behind us. I'm going to show you in a minute. So this guy's a bit more difficult. He's fully armoured. Uh, if you just want to kill an enemy, it is best to go for the blue. Like I said, there's another bar going underneath, going on underneath the health bar that we can't see yet. Uh, we have an implant on that shows us the health. Uh, there is another one that's kind of a poise bar. Um, I hit that switch as well. I overrid that switch, and that's opened this door behind us. Uh, I'm going to equip that implant when we get it, and breaking poise is something you can see. You'll see it happen. Uh, basically, the more you hit them, they get kind of stun locked. You can stun lock enemies almost. This is a um, audio log you don't need. That is one you obviously can pick up. It's not one of the ones we need to worry about. This machine here gives you uh, a power unit. I forget what they're called, but that's the ultimate upgrade. So once you're at level 4 with regards to all other upgrade materials, you'll need one of those. And there's only a certain amount of those in the game, so don't go using them. Um, you can't override that yet anyway, it's level 55. So we will be back in this area to do that and grab all those before we leave new game, because that's the best time to do it. Whew, there's a lot to talk about with this game, there really is. <laughs> yeah, to begin with anyway. So I'm just going to quickly run back down here, because there's, uh, you can see there, rig armature mark 1 times 6 and cortical, yeah, cortical processors mark 1 times 6. So these are just down here, which you can just pick up. Uh, you have different types of drones that shoot at you as well here. Uh, what we're we going for? We're going for the different... I just realized I haven't got that weapon. I said I want this weapon. I didn't actually equip it. Uh, yeah, I used this weapon early on because it's kind of it's nice and quick. It's Well, it's medium. Uh, and then I'm going to go into twin-handed. Um, Twin-rigged, I think they call it. There are five different categories of weapons. You have kind of the slow, the single-handed, the single-rigged, the twin-rigged. Uh, you need to get a proficiency up to level 5 on each weapon type. You can see every time an enemy dies, you see that bar in the bottom uh, left corner? Every time I kill an enemy, that goes up. That's just gone up a bit. So I'm just going to quickly run and grab this. I don't want to bother with the laser ones right now. And that's six of the upgrade materials for the, um, the chest and the arm, I think it was. I can't remember. No, it was the corticals, so it was the head. Uh, you need nine of each to upgrade, to create the the thing I'm going to create in a moment. <laughs> One of each. So yeah, every time I hit, you can see this proficiency in the bottom corner here, and certain weapons have better scaling with the proficiency. You need to get level five in each, so you can do that at any point, really. Uh, just mix and match weapons early on so you get a feel for which weapons you like obviously that's going to help uh, i know which ones i like already so i'm going to stick with it i'll just farm some later on farm some kills later on see there at the left hand side all the stuff has just gone up all the wrecked gear so i'm actually able to make uh, the links set now well the links two of the missing things i think so you've got the head gear here i'm going to make one of those because i can obviously it costs scrap as well uh, i don't have enough of everything else yet so we need some more. And then we have the upgrade. I can upgrade now because we've got enough tungsten mark one. So I'm going to upgrade this as well. The vibro cutter. Because that's my weapon of choice. I will be going super quick. Almost like twin blade. Um, it's a boss weapon I use later on. There's a really cool thing with the boss weapons as well. If you kill the bosses in a certain way. You get a better version of their weapon. You're guaranteed their weapon. But if you kill them in a certain way. You'll get a better version. Which we will do as well. So at level 15 is when we can start adding more implants. Uh, slows energy decay. So your blue bar, you can see it's decaying now because I'm not hitting anything. So it's, it's just going to slow. It, obviously that would slow it down. 
Here's a shortcut that we did open. That audio log as well early on was not an important one. And we're back here. So this guy I would kill because he does have a tendency to follow you, which is a bit annoying. So I'm again, I'm just cutting off what I need at the moment. The the most annoying one is to, to lock onto is actually body. can be a bit annoying. So yeah, if you do die... Uh, obviously come back and grab your scrap. There's a trophy for dying and a trophy for grabbing scrap. I don't die in this video. Hooray me. <laughs> I think it would have been a bit, a bit embarrassing had I died this early. Maybe. I don't know. Anyway, don't feel bad if you did. It's uh, I've already I've just come off the back of playing this fully, so I am aware how this game works. Uh, and patience is actually a thing. Look for your openings and go in and attack then. Especially with later enemies. You need to. That's why I use dodge over block, because you can tell there at the certain points. This guy's a bit quicker. If they run at you, they're always going to jump. That's a, another thing. If you just dodge, you're right behind them, and you open up. And once you can see this second bar, you'll be able to see that I'm doing massive kind of poise damage and staggering them, and they uh, they can't ret retaliate. And that's why I like the weapon I use later on, because it's so quick and it does so much damage to the poise. You can get basically stun lock enemies and uh, yeah, get rid of them pretty quickly. So Butcher Bill there, the trophy, and there's another implant. The Butcher Bill is for cutting one of each type of <laughs> uh, limb off, I suppose. So one of each leg, head, chest, one of each arm. You'll get that naturally at some point if you've not already. Uh, I'm also putting there, you can see, small pile of rare metal m material scrap. There, if we find those, uh, I'll put those on. But if I do random drops, obviously I'm not going to put that. was a bit of a bad one. I'm not going to put that one on. Uh, yeah, and I've not really mentioned the healing system. So, uh, obviously, square to heal. You've got three uses. And then once you go back to the healing center, uh, you get more. There is an implant which we do pick up later on, which I use for pretty much the entire game, which converts energy, which is the blue bar, into health. So it means you don't need to worry so much about running out of health you basically have infinite health as long as you're hitting and doing damage you can heal so yeah we're opening up another shortcut here and that's going to lead back to the, uh, the health center again get rid of these there aren't too many drones later on I'll just jump up here. So there's a lots of little shortcuts and things. This isn't a 100% guide. Obviously it is when it comes to trophies. But there may be small piles of scrap that I miss. Or uh, weapon. Not weapons. Um, upgrade materials that I may miss. But we'll be getting more than enough. So don't worry about it. Uh, yeah. Everything we do need obviously I do hit. I have all those pointers down. Do you require assistance, I'm just going to run back in here. Uh, go for the gear assembly. I should be good now. So get, if it has a tick next to it, it means you already have that. So I only have one of each arm and leg. So there's no tick on those, which means I obviously need to make more. I don't have enough uh, souls yet. Scrap. I'm going to keep calling them souls, aren't I? Scrap to make what I want. I could have rested at the uh, the medical bay there, but it's it's okay. A little bit of health reduction's fine. So this green stuff obviously is kind of poison acid. So uh, yeah, watch out stepping in that. We'll just go. This is a weird door. I don't understand why this is here. <laughs> it leads into the same room we were just in. It's it's literally next to the door. We were just in here. I don't know why there's a separate door for it. Anyway. I need some more leg stuff, so we'll take that. There is an item here, I just quickly grab it there, you miss it. It's just a small pile of scrap. They are basically zombies. These They're not alive, they're not, I don't think they're sentient, really. Um, they obviously have movement, but is it really... the? Uh, they just kind of bang in the head, you could see there. So, um, yeah, that's why the movement is kind of slow like that. There's another weapon, this is the reinforced pipe. Uh, different weapon type, so if you want to get that proficiency up, go for it. Uh, this thing here might seem really intimidating, but it's not actually too bad. There is a um, 
a drone in here that's what I'm looking for it's, it might be right in front of you if not it might be around here there it is it is one of the ones with a laser if they do that build up just dodge away it doesn't hurt what it does is it takes away all of your energy and stamina and leaves you extremely vulnerable it doesn't hurt though so don't worry so these there are five of these these are called smelting machines there's five of these in the game we need to destroy all five to get a trophy we also need to destroy all five to get five shining trophies so we can put those in a vending machine later on and get a certain uh, armor set for another trophy the the mouse iron mouse i think it's called trophy uh, armor set so this one's not too bad the others can be a bit more annoying so you can see it does that slam and there's all that that mist around that doesn't allow you to regenerate stamina when you're kind of stood in it. So you're looking for the openings on the, um, the flaps. And obviously dodge away when it slams down. And stay away from the front of it. Or the arm. And just wait for the opening. You don't need to run in and go crazy and get rid of it as quickly as possible. It's, one, it's a really manageable enemy. Just keep attacking until it's down. Have we got it? Nope. See, don't be greedy. A little bit of health there. It does slam on me here. I wasn't expecting that. It didn't hurt though, thankfully. So you're going to get the shining coin. That will automatically happen. And obviously we've killed it. Here is Iron Mouse number one. So it's Iron Mouse. Uh, this is the comics. There's six of these in the game. In specific places. One in each area. Uh, we'll be grabbing those as we go. Um, so that's number one. Make sure you grab that. They are just a random collectible. Obviously we need all of them for a trophy. Here we go, back and forth, back and forth. How was I going? Uh, 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 no, yeah. <laughs> I, couldn't, <laughs> I couldn't make my mind up. I was going to... I have enough scrap now to make what I need. I was thinking, oh, shall I go and do it now? Or shall I wait? No, I'll go and do it now. No, I'll wait. No, oh. <laughs> so no, we'll go back and do it. So I'm going to run back. And you can see that everything's being weighed in there. I can now make the chest piece. I can now make the extra leg and the extra arm. And that's going to get me the trophy operator because that is an operator armor set. So if you are going for the rhino set, that's going to be later on. But it is slower. It takes more damage. But this, when you have it all on, it is, there's a reduction in costs of stamina and things like that. So it's, I don't know, I prefer quicker. So there we go, operator. Uh, that You just need to own it. You don't need to have it equipped for that, obviously, for the trophy. Uh, this is going to take up quite a lot of um, energy here. So we'll need to go to the med bay. Just throw some upgrades in. Get those power core consumption up. I'm getting the health there as well. Because I've got that thing that scales with health. The One of the implants scales with health. So equip them all. There we go. I do have an extra implant slot now. So what you could do there instead is equip the implant. You can only equip implants in the med bay. But you can equip armor and weapons on the fly. So yeah. Um, I don't know. It's up to you which one you want. I've gone for full armor. And this is how I will stay for the rest of the game. Uh, I'll use this weapon and this armor. Uh, well, I'll switch this weapon later on. But this armor is, is me. <laughs> I'm going to fully upgrade this one. Uh, One-handed proficiency is up to level four. Like I said, it does scale. Just watch out in here. There's a guy to the left. I'm trying to get his attention. And there's two drones in here that shoot. So I want to separate them. Divide and conquer. Quickly go in. So in theory, I don't need to cut the heads, uh, legs and arms off anymore. The yellow bits. So I can go for the blue uh, and get rid of them quicker. Because that goes directly for health. Uh, it does more damage to the health. But less damage to the poise. So when the two bars there are there, you'll see. I'm just checking. There's you didn't drop anything. So yeah, always check. They're going to drop random bits of scrap as well. And then the, there's chests like this. Well, they're not really chests. They're just boxes that have um, implants in them as well. The guy at the top of the stairs here. I think he has the different. No, he has no. It's the other one. So we'll just go for the head. See, it does massive damage compared. So I don't even get the chance to cut anything off because I've killed him before the uh, the thing, the point of cutting things offness happens. <laughs> He's dead already. Uh, this one doesn't matter either. This audio log. 
I've picked up so many they don't actually matter at this point. I'm just going to grab this another vital boost. Uh, it's another health um, implant which we can double up on later on. You can actually stack all implants so there's a, a certain type of implant that increases the amount of scrap you get. You can stack that as well. Any health ones so uh, you're not just stuck to three injections. If you find more of the injections you can stack them and get six, nine, twelve, higher than that even. Uh, obviously you want to distribute your implants better but if you're in a boss situation you don't need say uh, the finishing move one or something like that so you can just put them all into the the health injections but you do need to go to a, a med bay to do that there's three drones right down here the most annoying thing is with drones is obviously the shooting one because they obviously get you from a distance there's not too many things that do distance there's no guns in the game there's just really a few of the uh well, i tell a lie there's flamethrowers but that's does that really count as a gun i don't know it's a weapon isn't it so i'm just gonna run up here i think there's just an implant there's a couple of guys here i tried i know there's a, the one's gonna burst through that box over there i've tried to get rid of this one quickly because once you're in an animation ah, i didn't make it once you're in an animation uh you can't get hurt so climbing, um, doing a finishing move, going up a, a, a lift, it's all iframes. So of course, again, iframes, I just presumed you knew what they were. So yes, dodging, there is really generous iframes in this game as well. Um, you can dodge through attacks really generously. You can dodge through even the, the, the sort of exploding attack that the drones do, you can dodge through that. You have really, really generous iframes in this game, so that's again why I like dodging over blocking. Uh, there is an implant you will get later that will reduce the amount of stamina that dodging takes, so it's even better then at that point. So if you don't have one of these arms, these this weapon, uh, make sure you get one now, because we are going to get a trophy. You need to use it in a dark area to get a trophy. It's You can do it at any point, but we'll just get it done uh, soon, in a moment. When we go down into the dark bit. So yeah, these ones are slow. These enemies. I'm taking a bit of damage. A bit, a bit careless now and again. But for the most part they are quite slow. Some more scrap there. So I'm just going to run down here. There is a door you just saw upstairs. But it, it, you'll hear it open. You won't probably won't hear it on the video. But there will be a, sort of a, a noise. And you'll hear something. It's about here. Yeah, so it's just happened. Uh, it means that door. I've come. There's two ways to go down into this uh, sewer system. Um, there's from the main room, and then there's this way. So if you just go down the stairs a bit, the, this door will open up. And this is a shortcut all the way back to the med bay again, which we will unlock. Sneaky, sneaky drone. Small pile of scrap. High tech scrap. So they do have different values when you cash them in. You obviously go into your inventory and uh, use them and you get a different amount of scrap. It actually tells you how much you get, which is a lot better than uh, a certain other game. Another guy hiding around here. I do like to go for the head. It does, obviously the head is kind of the weak point on them. Even when it's uh, armoured, it, you can do a lot of damage to the head. I'll take dynamo, another implant there. We'll go through all the implants later on. And you can just mix, again, mix and match. Choose what you like best. You're not beholden to what I'm doing. It's just a suggestion, a serving suggestion. This guy has a twin rigged, so he's quick. So um, don't take him for granted. And he, he doesn't stagger as easy. He recovers from staggering re very easily. Uh, he does have the, I think they're called something butterfly weapon. Uh, I don't use that. I stick with this one uh, for now. But it is... I could get my proficiency up to the weapon I'm ultimately going to use, which is a boss weapon down the way. But I'll just do it later on. It builds up really quickly. So jumping down here now, use it. Well, don't jump down. Use the lift. That's going to get us back to the med bay. And there we are. I'm not going to go in because I don't need to. Because it will reset all the enemies. I don't need to do it. If you do, obviously, go and uh, heal up. Buy some stuff if you need it. 
So yeah, with the quick guy, the one that was here, um, he is more than likely going to run and jump at you, and that's his weakness, because obviously there's a big opening then to get him. So we'll quickly run back, and then we're going to go down those stairs into uh, a dark area, which means we can get the It's Blue Light trophy. So the weapon that I was cutting off before, it was the first weapon I did get, you want to use that in a dark area. That's all you need to do. You need to kill an enemy using that weapon in a dark area. That's it. So we'll go down. There's a guy leaning against the wall to the right. There we go. So just switch to the uh, the spectre bike. That's it. So you can obviously see it's lit up. If you're wondering how I've got a torch, it means you don't have a body armor yet. You need body armor to have a torch, and then it's left on the D-pad. Or you can use this weapon. Uh, and this is a single rigged weapon, so my proficiency started again. There you go, it's blue light. All you need to do is just kill an enemy with that weapon in the dark. Done. Uh, I'm going to use this for a bit uh, and then change my, <laughs> my mind really quickly. It's a lot slower, this weapon. I really don't like slow weapons. And this guy, I should not be locking onto his arms, but I am because I kind of want his weapon. Just in case I want to mess around with it later. But he's, he's too quick for my weapon, you see? This one is just so slow. And I thought, no, I'm going to die here. Let's just switch back to what I know. So much better. And we'll just go chop his arm off. And we're going to get the Yosu Yosuke Butterfly. That's the weapon he's using, the twin blade. And we'll get a Rhino. He was using Rhino armor. So we'll also get his arm gear because we cut his arm off at the same time. That's the heavier set if you want to go for that. There are more later on. So there we go, Medivoltaic Injection. That is the one, so make sure you grab that. That's the one that gives you basically infinite healing as long as you've got energy, which you can just hit enemies to get. So you don't have to worry about going back so much. Yeah, I'm going to do it again. We do need... So I, I will do probably just do farming later on with it um, and tell you I'm doing it rather than sh just slow down the whole process here. I really don't like the slow weapons. <laughs> but yeah, we do need to get each weapon up to level 5. It does happen quite quickly. We'll ignore that door for now. And just head on down. So we're going to go full circle, basically. Like I said, there's two ways into this place. Uh, we're actually going to get the only audio log in this area that matters in a minute as well. Which is there. It doesn't look like an audio log, but it is. What the hell was that? <laughs> no, this isn't going well. It just It's weird, isn't it? You know how to play this game, or a game, any game. But as soon as you mix up your the weapon you like, or the, the armor you like, it feels com like a completely different game. And that's what's happening here, and that's my excuse anyway. Yeah, I've had enough of that. <laughs> we'll stick with what I know. So yeah, this is an uh, audio log, so interact with this. And that's going to be the one you need there. Liberator, arrest warrant. It's one of the ones we need. So make sure you grab that one. It's not missable, you can come back and get it at any time. Try and go for a quick kill here, because there's another guy to the left. It's not going to happen. You can line enemies next to each other. Wait for them both to do their really slow meandering attack and then go for the kill. Drone to the left to so watch out for him. And then there is a box behind him or a, a container. And then we're pretty much done with this area really we've turned the power on because there is a maglev station uh, we've not been up to it yet but we will and that's uh, the next area so yeah you'll hear a guy shouting for help here uh, you can open the door but he is going to attack you he does have one of the big weapons so this is an enemy type i'm trying to lock on it's not really working there is an enemy type that we will deal with later he's a he's wearing rhino gear so if you need that cut the rhino off i'm going to cut his arm off get his weapon for what it's worth no i'm not there we go. And just get rid of this drone quickly as well. So dodge, do you see there? Just dodge through that kind of blast. 
can be done. So yeah, the Endus RS3 Titan. It's another type of weapon, two-handed. And another implant there as well. So yeah, watch out. He is going to come jumping at you. Uh, they, yeah, again, like I said, we're kind of dealing with zombies here. So they are sometimes on the floor waiting for you. We will kill this one, and I will just mention there is some there is some implants down here. I don't know why I'm cutting it off. I don't need to. <laughs> uh, the guy upstairs, actually, I mentioned him actually before we do that. Um, not yet. When we go there, <laughs> the quick guy. That down there is all poison, and there's loads of drones that will shoot you down there. It's not necessary that we do go down there. We might do later on. We can get some armor that will. Uh, negate the effect of poison later so we can do it if we want to and there we go we've come full circle so this there that door on the right hand side that's dlc the testing chamber uh, that's one of the dlcs i'm not they are all over the throughout the whole game you can there's many places where you can enter uh, i won't be doing the dlc until new game plus so i'm just ignoring those and uh, there we are back in main assembly line so you should recognize where we are and we'll run back to uh, the med bay and prepare for the boss fight. Which is the PAX, or P-A-X, PAX. Hello. It's a big robot. So I'm just going to weigh in and see what I can upgrade. Probably nothing with regards to armor. But we can do some upgrades here. So just get the port, the core power consumption up, so I'm able to extra implant on now potentially. So yeah, we do have a second injection here, and then we have this. This this is the one I really like. Uh, I can't equip it yet because I don't have just. I'm just out of range with regards to uh, to core power. So I'm just going to switch it for now. We'll do that later on. So what? Yeah, press down on the D-pad to cycle through consumables, injectables. So I'll keep this one on all the time now. Like I said, it's an infinite use health thing. And then all these others. Obviously, they all stack and you can mess around with them. Just change which whichever ones you like. So you have the extra injectable here as well. Uh, I've gone for that over... I've reduced my health, my overall health, and gone for six injectable things now is what I'm doing. Uh, these are, so I've gone into the inventory here, the consumables, I've just used a couple of the really small ones just to put me over on the edge, over the edge on the amount of souls I need to upgrade, <laughs> souls, scrap I need to upgrade so I can have this extra one on, it costs that one more so I couldn't put it on, so that's what I was doing, so I now have six injectables, six, five injectables, it's six or five, it looks a bit broken, <laughs> on the, uh, when I do this the preview is not at full resolution if you're wondering. That's why I can't quite make out. I think it's six, right? Right, this guy here, you can actually farm him for Mark II um, Tungsten. It wasn't coming to me then. So if you cut off, cut off either of his arms, because they've both got a weapon on them. So you can see the Tungsten alloy is Mark II there. I've got three of it in the bottom corner there. You can see it. Um, you can farm him, get up to nine, and upgrade the weapon once again if you want to. Uh, I'll do it later on. It's we've, If you're really struggling with the boss, then go for it. But um, you should be fine. It will come really quickly in the next area. So we're just taking that shortcut back to the boss area. We've already been through the boss area, but now the power's on. He will wake up. He doesn't usually do this. You can fall off here. Fall damage is a thing, but from that height you're okay. Thankfully, because <laughs> I just did. So wait for them both to attack. And then go in. There we go. That was almost beautiful, that. <laughs> the way they died together. So this is the, the boss now. This is Pax. Uh, at first you might think, what the hell? How the hell do you beat this thing? You don't do damage to it uh, if you hit it. So it looks really intimidating. It will kill you really quickly as well. There's also that. So stay underneath it and behind it. So that's it's going to blow its own weapon off there. And then you want to lock onto a leg and stay behind it. So it's going to do dashes with its kind of saw blades. That's what it does. And then it jumps. And then it's trying to get away from you. And it's going to, every time it does, it'll do a dash there. As long as you're behind it like this, you're okay. So don't worry. 
Uh, it will start lifting the legs up like that and slamming down. What we want to do is break the blue kind of front. So keep hitting the same leg. There is an AOE to the slam, by the way. You see that blue kind of shield on each leg? The more you hit each leg, eventually that will break off. Now, there's two ways to down this thing. Um, you see the orange bar underneath its health, which you can just kind of see there. Once that builds up, it will jump away and fire rockets. Whatever you do when it does that, either go crazy dodging, which you might still die, or get underneath it. So I'm going to get underneath it, it's about to do it, and it will knock itself out. Now I said there's two ways to get each boss weapon. Once it knocks itself out, you can actually do damage. You can't see it, but I'm actually doing damage. So I do apologise, but it's kind of how, it, the, how it's fallen there. Um, yeah, if you beat this guy without knocking himself down with his own rockets, you'll get Pax Weapon Version 2. Pax Imperator? Imper what the hell does that say? Uh, Imperator? Imperator? Anyway... Um, that Mark II, which is a slightly better version. I'm not going to use it because it's a really slow, heavy weapon. It's horrible, to be honest. Uh, so I'm not bothered, but if you want it, version 2, then uh, you'll need to do it without the rockets. Now, the way you do it without is by smashing the blue shield off. And when it lifts the leg... That, there, you can see this, there's one shield missing now on his left leg. Um, if he lifts the right leg, I'll hit the left leg and he'll fall over, which he will do in a moment. So I'm locking on. No... I'm all over the place. Yeah, I got it there. He lifted up, so I, I knocked him down because the shield was gone. Uh, so that exposes that leg and makes it vulnerable, meaning he can't stand on it. I'm saying he, it, can't stand on it. So the other leg does have a shield on it, so unfortunately. So I can't quite get through. No, don't lift that leg. Do the other one. Just keep hitting, <laughs> hitting this leg there. Go, do the other leg. Right, now, go. <laughs> there we go. And then just hit it to kill it. And you'll get the Pax, weapon, uh, Pax Trophy and the Pax Weapon. Imperator. That's what we're going with. It's a big, slow thing. And you also get Vital Boost uh, version 3. And that's this area done. That's it. So we're going to move on. We will be back to this area to pick certain things up later on. Very quickly, just to clean up. Um, but yeah, all we're going to do is uh, get on this maglev and move on to... Um, Central Production B. Yes, that's what it's called. Central Production B. Uh, there is an audio log there. That one doesn't matter. Obviously, pick it up, listen to it. There's a, there's a story in there somewhere. Uh, this is the weapon that we just got. It, use it if you want. It's got high impact, but it's very slow. Proficiency is high, though, as well. And energy gain, is high. energy gain is high as well. Right, that's it for this one. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Thank you.